What's up y'all, it's Jimmy. Coming to you guys with another video. Before we get into the video, as always, make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And when you guys hit subscribe, please make sure you guys are hitting that notification button. To get right into the video, I have a pair of Air Force One for y'all. These definitely went under the radar for a lot of people, including myself. I'm not gonna lie and say that these were you know, my must cop for June, July, the summertime, but they were on sneakers and I was actually on the app at the time when they drop so you know maybe that's how nike gets you know you hop on the app you don't know what's really going to come out at 9 a.m and long and behold i have a pair of brown air force ones that i honestly even had no idea were coming out but nonetheless if you guys watch the channel and you guys know me well i'm only going to buy shoes if i really mess with them yeah occasionally i'll buy the shoes so i can review them for y'all but most of the times all the shoes that i do review for you guys i really do like and for the most part, if I do have them in hand, I'm keeping them as personals. But getting right into the review, here is the box that the shoes come in. Like I said, these are an Air Force One. Nothing too special about these. These are just a general release, I'm pretty sure. I don't think there's like a nickname for these, but here's the box that they come in. Typical Air Force One box. Here's the size tag on the box. Reads Air Force One QS. QS in this case means quick strike, so definitely i guess a little bit more limited than a normal general release these are a size 8 in men and suggested retail is 130 and the colors on the shoe you guys i'm telling you the color palette on the shoe is actually really amazing the colors read natural underbrush and an acorn which is an understatement for this shoe just because i feel like when you hear those three colors it actually doesn't sound all that amazing but seeing the shoes in person and hopefully the ca the camera captures it as well it looks really nice in hand and then finally here are the shoes look at that you guys honestly i'll say this isn't maybe the best shoe for the summertime but for the fall winter time honestly more for the fall it's just because of those different hues of brown this is absolutely a banger heroes on this shoe are definitely quality very buttered different types of materials that i haven't seen nike use in quite a while but getting to the base of the shoe you have a brown air force one outsole very clean chocolate brown i'll say this is like the ideal brown that you want to see on a shoe and when i say brown i more so mean like that chocolate dark brown um, you know nike does a lot of variations and so do a lot of other brands but in my opinion, this is the brown of them all. This is very similar to me, very similar to the Travis One Lows and Travis One Highs. The brown on those shoes were very nice. And then moving on up to the white midsole, which is a very nice contrast between the midsole and then the uppers. I don't know, there's something about this shoe, like typically I'm one for like age, yellow soles, like kind of like an off-white color. But I'll say the super white soles on here actually looks really clean. And I'm telling you guys, I am not hyping the shoe up for no reason. Like I said, I had no idea these shoes were coming out. I don't even know if these were on anyone releases radar, but these are really nice to hand, you guys. And then when you move on to the upper, this is where things get pretty interesting. So I'm not exactly too sure what color this is. It kind of looks like an almond, like a light brown. Um, I don't know, there's probably a specific name for it, but I'm not too sure what it is. On the box, it might have been like the underground brush or something like that. But wherever you have this lighter brown, which is the back panel, the toe box, the lacing portion, and then the check, and then also the back portion right there, it is in this like very smooth, nice grained leather. And I'll say this is probably some of the best leather that I've seen on any Nike shoe recently from the air jordan ones or all the air jordans really to the different air forces to the different dunks the quality on this air force one is actually really nice and another thing i'm really liking about this leather is just the cut of the leather i don't know if it's just me like over hyping the shoe or looking too deep into it but i feel like all the cuts are really clean like quality control on this shoe was definitely on point um, I don't know, it just seems like a very well-constructed shoe. And then when you move on to your mid-panel, your toe box and your tongue, and then the inner mid-panel right there, you have a very interesting use of hemp. And I'm pretty sure this is hemp. It really reminds me of the hemp Dunk SBs that came out in like 
maybe 07, 06, something like that. And then moving to the smaller details of the shoe, like I said, I'm not too sure exactly what this color is, but I'll go ahead and just call it like an off-white tan. But right there at the very front of the toe box area, you have a tan swoosh that is stitched in. And then you have a dark brown piping that goes around the tongue. Like I said, that adds a really nice contrast and then pairs back down really nicely to the outsole. And then your Nike Air tag right there is the same color as this like almond leather. And then the Nike Air is stitched in, in that off-white tan. And of course you can't forget the Nike Air in the back that is also stitched in that tan, but this time it's like a metallic threading. So really pops on the back. Um, and then of course you can't forget the brown laces that come with the shoe. This brown is honestly kind of like a different shade. So there's four different shades of brown on the shoe. And overall the shoe itself is really, really nice. You guys, I, I mean, I'm excited to wear the shoe. Um, I have a couple outfits in mind for the shoe that I think are gonna go really hard. And last but not least, you have the inner lining. So this is something I never really touch on because in my opinion, I feel like most people don't care about it, but this is the one shoe where I feel like it is worthwhile to mention it because you guys can see the inner lining right there. So I said there was four shades of brown. There's actually five considering the inner lining right there. Typically the inner lining is a cloth material, something that we're used to, something that is a little bit comfortable. Um, you know, but this time Nike decided to do a leather inner lining, which is quite interesting, right? Because I mean, I guess it, maybe it's because the shoe is a quick strike or I don't know. I don't know why Nike decided to go a little bit above and beyond in the shoe, but they did a leather lining, which is typically mainly done with just more of the premium shoes that Nike comes out. And now I'll show you guys how these shoes look on feet. So hope you guys enjoyed the on foot look of these Air Force Ones. Like I said, I don't really have a nickname or anything to dub them, but you know we can go ahead and call them the Dark Chocolate Almonds. These right here are definitely a must cop if you guys are looking for a brown Nike shoe. These right here are definitely a must cop if you guys are looking for a brown sneaker. But this is gonna wrap up the video. Let me know what you guys think about these Air Force Ones. I know Air Force Ones aren't really the craze right now and they are a little bit more clunky than like the Air Journal 1 Lows, Nike Dunks, but nonetheless, Air Force Ones are a classic that are going to be here probably till the day we all die, um, but very dope shoe, very cool in hand. Let me know what you guys think about the shoes down below in the comments. You guys think they are a cop or a drop? I myself, I mean, I have them in hand, so I'm gonna go ahead and say they are a cop. And it's gonna wrap up with the video. Until next time, we'll catch you guys later. Peace. And it's gonna wrap up with the video. Until next time, we'll catch you guys later. Peace.